Hello everyone, welcome to Admissio YouTube video channel. Today we are going to explain about the interesting part of the reproductive system. So in this video, we focus on lactation. First of all, we have to get the idea of lactation. So, lactation is the process of synthesis and secretion of milk. Human milk is secreted by the mammary glands. So this implies the importance of knowing the structure of mammary glands. There are special epithelial cells lying in small sacs called lobules. It helps to secrete milk. The lobules are surrounded by a layer. It contains muscle fibers. Now let's look at the process of lactation according to the structure of the breast. When the muscles contracts in the gland, it causes milk to be released. That released milk enters into the series of lactiferous ducts. They are tubes-like structures. Then each duct has an expanded space called lactiferous sinus. There are several sinuses in the breast. They store milk. You can clearly see the expanded sinuses in the diagram. The ducts are eventually pass into separate openings in the nipple. So functions of these structures help for the process of lactation. Now we move to the chemical process of the mammary gland. What are the hormones that affected the changes in glands? During the pregnancy, the female breast increased in the size due to the development of the milk glands and ducts. So, development of the milk glands are controlled by progesterone. Development of the ducts are controlled by estrogen. Prolactin is secreted by the anterior pituitary gland. However, prolactin needs for breast milk production. But, prolactin doesn't produce in pregnancy. Because, throughout the pregnancy, production of the prolactin is inhibited by estrogen and progesterone. Therefore, they inhibit the formation of breast milk during pregnancy. Most of the mothers breastfeed their baby within the first hour after birth. At birth, estrogen and progesterone levels fall down due to the loss of the placenta. So, prolactin inhibition is lost due to the low estrogen and progesterone levels. So then, prolactin stimulates milk secretion. So, by watching this video, you understood the structure of the mammary gland and how it affects lactation. Also, we discussed the reason for failure to milk production during pregnancy. Therefore, now you have a clear idea about the lactation. So if you like this video, please subscribe and put your comments in the comment section below. Thank you for watching our videos.